Have super miners broken the clan capital? Welcome back for another full clan capital raid video. Today, we're gonna do this full raid using mass super miners. If you watched my video earlier this week about super miners versus dragon cliffs, you know these guys are wrecking the clan capital. So we're gonna see how much damage they do with a full mass miner raid. Every attack, every district, we're gonna use 10 super miners. We will maybe change out the spells, but honestly, I like the two frosts quite a bit. So let's go ahead and hop in and just full disclosure here. This was just the next raid available in our raid weekend. I haven't looked at any of the districts and I don't plan on looking at them until I'm about to attack them. We're going in on Goblin Mines first. What I like to do here is I really like the little frost rate over here and then we can frost really pretty much anywhere else on this one. I kind of don't mind the frost back here. And then the lightning can go in on this uh, single target inferno over there and what you want to do with these guys is you really just want to throw them all in the same spot here i probably shouldn't even did a double deployment double finger deployment there because you really want them all to go into the same target now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and zap out some of these uh, goblins so that the miners are going to go ahead and get through those really quickly and then they'll just work up through here i feel like the miners are going to go a little bit left here which that's okay and this is somewhere where you could use a heal uh, if you can keep them bunched together, a heal comes in handy, but we do get a little bit of a split here, so uh, probably not a bad thing that we went with the two frosts. Giant bomb goes off there. Now remember, these guys are going to drop off that bomb off of their back when they get taken out, so they're going to deal that additional damage. But right now, we just want them working through here, clearing out as much as possible, and setting up for the next attack. On the next attack, if we want to bring that heal, we can. We do have those frosts in play, but honestly, I probably will just frost both of these goblin throwers here for the next attack. Look at this. These miners are working through here. I've heard people have one-shotting multiple districts with this. I've gotten close to one-shotting the goblin mines myself. I've been just kind of playing around with the different spells on this. Let me know down there in the comments. Have you guys had any one-shots on districts using the super miners? Like I said, I've been close, but I haven't quite gotten a one-shot yet. Ah, I really want a one-shot. That would be crazy. You guys remember Logan. Logan used to just one-shot everything, but he would have to practice it so, so much. Hours on end to get that perfect strategy down. With me, I'm just spamming in miners. So it looks like these are the remaining miners we have left here. They'll work in. They'll clear everything out. Also, hope you guys are having a great weekend as this is out on the second day of Raid Weekend. So you guys are probably already in, but hopefully it's in time enough that this will help you guys through your raid weekend. But we got two miners through here, maybe one? Yeah, no, we got two. So they'll work through here. Uh, when they get taken out, obviously they'll drop that bomb in there. But honestly, they get they get through there pretty quickly. Uh, the spear thrower can't even really hit them because they're so quick. Look at this, they are moving. That bomb goes off. And our first attack, we get 70 plus percent. That's not too shabby, right? Which means it doesn't really matter what spells we bring in on the next one because it's going to be an easy clean here. Uh, I'm just going to put two over there. Like I said, you do want to clump them together, but uh, I just want to get that out. Uh, you want them on the same defense so they get it down and get back underground. You don't want defenses targeting them. See how fast they're back underground. Just like that. They're up, back underground because they're already through that. Even these goblins are going to have a hard time hitting them because they're just so quick. Yeah, we could zap out the goblins, but I kind of wanted to just show that off how effective that frost spell is. You would think you'd want to use heals with these just because I think that's our natural instinct is miners go with heals. But I think the frost is the better play. Uh, at least having one frost in your army is a really strong play just, just for this. I mean, look at this. They're so quick. Things can't keep up when they're under the frost. The frost is going to slow down those troops, and that's what we're looking for. We want these miners just cooking through here and getting through. Our first two shot of the day, easy peasy. Next up is Skeleton Park, and I'm going to stick with the double frost, to be honest. I like it a lot. Maybe I'm a little bit biased here. I probably am biased, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to frost right in here, and I'm going to frost right over here because we're going to go this left side. I feel like when they get up here, they're going to kind of fan out a little bit. But we really want to get as much of this middle section taken out. So on our second attack, we can kind of go up this right side is my thought process. We'll see if that works. But also, we don't need to frost this uh, rocket artillery because we're going right at it. The miners are going to be right in within its range that it can't hit right away. So we don't have to even waste a frost over there. Keep that in mind. If you're able to get in the range of the blast bow or the rocket artillery, waste of frost on it this one we're going to be caught up for a second so i wanted to frost that also i wanted to frost those uh reflectors 
Reflectors are a little bit of an, an annoying defense, to be honest with you. But I think we should be fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to use my lightning right here. Oh, I was trying to get both of those. I thought I could get both of those. I probably should have been able to get both of those. But I whiffed. I whiffed. So our miners might actually go the wrong way here. We might actually, on our second attack... Yeah, they're going to go right. Our second attack, we might actually have to go up this side. Uh, which is okay. It's fine. The miners are still going to do a great job working through here. I thought we could get a little bit different pathing there. Live and learn. It's okay. It's fine. We got mass super miners, guys. It is broken right now. Oh, hopefully Supercell doesn't watch my videos and I get blamed for the nerf. I feel like a lot of people are going to be putting out super miner videos. If anyone does playing capital content, they have to be on the super miners. That's, that's just plain and simple. They're so strong right now, you'd be a fool not to be using them. Okay, yeah. So what we'll do instead of going that right side... We'll go up the left side with our second attack since we have this pathing set. And that's really what you want to do is just looking for those like paths to keep them in that tight bunch. That's what we want. We want all these miners in that tight bunch. I'm going to stick with the two frost here again. Uh, yeah, the heals are probably good. I, I Maybe maybe I'm biased. Maybe I just like the frost a lot. Uh, and Maybe we could probably get closer to a one shot if I was using heals. But... On these, my goal, realistically, and I'm, yeah, I do want that two shot, don't or that one shot. Don't get me wrong, but ultimately, my goal is if I can two shot any district, I'm having a good day, and that should be your goal in the clan capital. Two shot all your district, and that's why I'm going to stick with the frost because the frost is definitely going to enable us to two shot all these districts, no problem. All right, let's go ahead and work through here. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to zap out this building here, and then we can work these guys right into the rocket. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. See, use that. Get right into that rocket. I don't think it would have really got us too much because, again, we got right into that range really quickly, uh, and it's under frost. But getting that out early is going to help. Now we'll just let these miners work through here. They're beefy enough. We could have maybe ran a heal here. I don't think it's going to... I don't think we're going to have any issues with this, to be honest with you. We'll see. I'm sure on one of these raids, it's going to bite me in the butt where I don't run a heal. But for now, I'm, I'm fine just running the frost. This one, we could have probably gotten away with running a heal. And maybe since we had so many frosts down, maybe I should have ran one heal at least. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think I don't think we miss on this, though. I think that's the big thing here. As long as we're not missing, we don't we don't need no stinking heal. If we're, if we're two-shot and everything, what's the point, you know? What's the point? Miners get underground. They're cooking through here. They're so healthy. They're so healthy still get through there look how fast they get under on this bomb tower the bomb tower doesn't matter that bomb doesn't matter oh what cannon oh yeah cannon can't hit us because you're frosted frost is the right play don't let me second guess myself out here guys just stick with me get those two shots oh my goodness these miners just crush this district skeleton park it can be a tough two shot not anymore guys all of these districts are easy two shots so this golden quarry i am going to go ahead and bring a heal we're going to start over here at this uh blast bow but i think like when we get in this area a heal could come in handy just because we're going to have a lot of different points of interest attacking us so we're going to bring one frost one heal our frost is going to go right in here on these guys i mean it makes a lot of sense right and then we can go ahead and go in right here and this is one where you could maybe get away with bringing like a barb or two but we're going mass miners. We don't need to overthink this today. We don't need to overthink this. Just go mass miners and crush everything out here. Um, looking, we don't have any single target infernos. We don't really need to worry about that. We can use the lightning to maybe reset a rocket artillery or a blast bow. Uh, we can kind of just keep an eye on that. I was just looking to see if any buildings would be worthwhile zapping. And I'm not sure that there are. So I think we're just going to hold on to the zap in case we need a little bit later. Now we'll just keep an eye on our miners and be ready to heal when I think they're going to need the heal. That blast bow got a shot off. I don't like that blast bow. Uh, the blast bow's going to get another shot. No, it's good. Oh, wait, it retargeted. What the heck, blast bow? Blast bow's doing some dirty things. Let's reset this blast bow. All right, I'm going to heal right here. Just because, yeah, that other rocket artillery is going to lock onto them. They're going to be on the district hall. So they're going to be under a little bit of extra pressure here, not to mention the crusher will hit them. But I think that's a good point to, like, kind of heal them up, get them back up to full health here. I think that was the right play. I think that was the right play there. Now they'll be pretty much full health, and they can work through the rest. They can get through this blast belt. Yeah. See, the heal, don't get me wrong. The heal is good, and you can even run double heal. I'm just really a huge fan of the frost spell. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. Last week was the first weekend I really used these guys on pretty much every single attack. And I mean every single attack. I will say right now in the video, and I should have maybe said this at the beginning. Maybe I'll go back and revise it. 
These guys are good on every single district, but the clan capital, not so much. And you'll see when we get there. Clan capital, these guys are going to struggle a little bit. We'll see if we can make it work, but I haven't had good experiences with the super miners versus the clan capital. I think for my money, you know, using like Pekka Wizard and Ram, the graveyard is still really good in there. These guys are just a little bit tough because there's just so many point defenses there in the clan capital. I guess it'll also depend on what this clan capital looks like. Oh, look at this guy. We're working through here. We're going to have us a 30... 30k plus account easily without even making any effort we're not cherry picking any bases we're just working bottom up here if you want to run up some numbers on your accounts miners are going to be the way look at this like we we almost clear this out it's really just like a time factor here and like i said you can if you want to bring in you know like a, a barb or two and then like a, a couple rams or minions or a skelly barrel or something you can do that also but i think you don't need to overcomplicate it if you're especially if you're running a lot of accounts i run like 14 accounts through raid weekend if you're just running a lot of accounts just drop your miners and frost be on your way this one has actually really close like this is actually way better than i thought this is literally if we have another minute we might be able to clear this i don't know if we get it all the way but look how good that was 71 percent, and we just run out of time here we still have a herd of miners up that's insane now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna swap over to the double frost here uh, and i think we're gonna frost it there and we'll just frost here and we'll just run in right here nice nice just realized i'm not wearing a hat shout out to my guy ben over at blank canvas for the the haircut today always good talking with them oh man they do so it's so clean it's so clean when you get that fresh haircut, it feels good, right? Uh, sorry guys, I got distracted. I, I normally wear hats in videos, but like in between attacks, I like went to adjust my hat and I was like, wait a second, I'm not wearing a hat. It is what it is. Here we are guys, here we are. Uh, you know, it's nice to show off the fresh haircut. This one's gonna get over 30,000 on this account. This is our first account. We clear three districts and two shots. And this is this strategy is how you're gonna two shot every single district in my opinion now. Uh, Barbarian camp gets a little bit close because those giants are really annoying. But I've been pretty successful two-shotting Barbarian Camp with this also. Normally, Barbarian Camp is, besides dragons, obviously, Barbarian Camp is the one that gives me issues. Not anymore. We get over 30,000, I'm pretty sure, with this, or really close to it. 31,000 with our first account. Let's move on to Dragon Cliffs. This one is probably the most annoying district, but not anymore with our super miners guys i'm gonna go double frost here you can go on this layout you can go with the heal and heal right about where i'm gonna frost but i like having that double frost just to slow the dragons down like i said you could probably like heal right in this area also as the miners are gonna make their approach but we're just gonna spam in all these miners again you want these miners just working through here the dragons are gonna have a hard time keeping up with them and that's why this is successful I like to go ahead and zap this out right here. That way it's just gonna keep them on this little inside track here. Look at that. The dragon can't catch them. Even a non-frosted dragon just can't catch these guys. He's like, which way did they go, George? Which way did they go? It's so, so nice through here. Now, obviously on some of these higher uh, hit point buildings, it's gonna be a little bit harder for the dragon to keep up or not catch them or whatever I'm trying to say here. It's gonna be harder for them to outrun the dragon is what I'm trying to say, but they're still gonna be fine. Look, we get the dragons and the frost. It's good, guys. It's good. We get through here. We get through the blast bow. This used to take so much longer when we had to go through here and use all the archers, use the battle rams, use a few barbarians to funnel, rage up, and get through here. Now you just spam your miners and then you don't think about it. This gets way more than you would ever get with an archer open. And it's, it's literally no effort, no thought. You just run through here and just crush. Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. We got so many miners up here. I'm going to frost up a pack of dragons if we can. Oh, that one went, he went off on his own. Why'd you go up there on your own, bud? All right, we're good, man. We're so, so good here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's just see where they're at, where they're cooking. All right, we got miners through here. They're going to go to the single. All right, we got dragons free, which is fine. That's what you want. You want the dragons free roaming around here. But these miners over here, they're cooking, bro. They're cooking. We're good. I don't... Mm. Man, I've gotten so close to one shots on this so many times. I don't think this is it though. I think we could have used the heal on this one just because the the path they took. I think on this district, on this layout, I think this is where I need to be bringing the heal. Uh, but I like the double frost just for the dragons. Like the dragons are so annoying. I think if we had a heal though here, these dragons stand no chance of catching us. Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, if we have a heal here, I think this is one shot. It's still not far off. Don't get me wrong. It's not far off at all. 
But let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can work through here. I think we saved the frost for over there. I don't know if we have enough time. I don't know if we have enough time. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, come on, miners. They're coming up this way. They're coming. Oh, man, guys. This is nuts. Look how close. Like, you'd never be able to do this on dragons, right? This is insane. We're working through there. We're cooking. Ooh, that zap hurts. Yeah, we should have definitely brought a heal. I think if we brought a heal, this is one shot. Bang. Bang. All right. Cook through there. Cook through here. Oh, man. I'm just going to frost over here, but really, it's just time. It's just time. I don't... I don't know... Even with a heal, it's close on the time. Oh, the bomb goes off there. Oh, it's literally just a time fail on dragons for the one shot, in my opinion. It's so close. The the miners just aren't going to get over. Oh, I think they went left. Oh, dang it. 92%. That's insane. And then obviously we have the easy clean here. Man, we were so close, guys. We were so close. We just troll these guys. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. I don't know if the heal makes a difference there, though. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know. But easy two-shot on dragons. Like, the easiest two-shot I've had yet on dragon cliffs. That's crazy. This builder workshop is a little bit tricky. I'm going to try to heal here just so we can try it out. But I'm thinking we can go on the spear thrower, and then they can go up this way, and then back through here, and then work their way up here. I think if I go this way, like, to the crusher, they can go here, here. Like, here, they're going to split, I think. Ugh. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go this way. Let's just see if we can get this right. So we'll go to the spear thrower here. And we'll just let these guys work to the right side, and we'll see if we can heal them up and keep them working through here. I think it should be okay. It shouldn't be too bad here. And we'll just uh, we'll see what they do. Let's see what they do. Uh, so again, get them clumped so they get on those defenses and get them down as quickly as possible. We'll use that heal when it's appropriate. Uh, but look at the the cannon doesn't even get to shoot them the crusher they're too fast for the crusher these guys are fast like lightning out here and this is why i really like the frost these guys are so quick that you can get away with using that frost now we're gonna get a little bit of a split here uh but i think we're good man i think we're really good let's go ahead and throw a heal right in here uh just so we can get them topped off to full health and then we'll save that other heal maybe we should have saved we should have healed up here i think i think i healed a little bit early there i got a little bit carried away that's fine. We'll heal over here by the district hall, I think, uh, for our next one, and then we'll kind of work through. All right, I'm gonna cut the, these buildings off right there. That way, go they go from the spear thrower to the blast bow, I think. I'm pretty sure they should. All right, that blast bow is being a little bit of a nuisance. It's okay. That's okay. We'll work through here. All right, and then I think what we'll do is we'll heal from the blast bow over. I could have, I should have probably waited on that just a split second to be honest. But that's okay. That's okay. They'll get into the rage of the blast bow. They'll heal up for a second. Nice. I think this heal was wasted here. Not going to lie. But that's okay. That's all right. Live and learn. Not a big deal. Not the end of the world. I'm not winning a championship for these two shot attacks. But we are teaching you guys how to do better. Man, they didn't even go to the district hall. That sucks. Uh, but we're fine here, man. We're fine. This is set up perfectly. Now we have good pathing for our second attack. These miners are still going crazy. This is what I'm telling you guys. This attack is kind of crazy. Actually, if they backtrack, oh, they're not going to go in the heal though. They're no matter what, they're not going to go in that heal. Dang it! All right, let's let them work. This is this is a pretty good shot on this one too. Oh man, close to healing. They were so close to healing. All right, so that's another thing with the heals. If you don't get the pathing right, you don't predict the pathing right. We pretty much just wasted our spells on this one. We got a little bit of healing, but we wasted a lot of spell space on this one, in my opinion. So that's why I like going with the frost also. It's just easier. You don't have to worry about predicting pathing. You just freeze major defenses and you're good. Uh, we'll work through here. Again, another, what, 80% opener? 80% opener is insane. Uh, I was hoping they would go to the bow and get that bow down. All right, 81% on the open. That means it's an easy clean. But hopefully you guys are seeing why I'm so high on these miners. Uh, I don't actually need to cross there because I'm gonna go right into it. Uh, but hopefully you guys understand like what I'm getting at with the, with this video. You could literally two shot every single district with this strategy, even higher districts. I know some of the argument in the comment section is gonna be like, oh, those were weak districts, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, last weekend, every single district I hit, every once in a while, I would not two shot builders, but it was really close. Every single district I was hitting though was two shots, nonstop two shots. 
And if it messed up, it was more on me and my bad spell placement. You guys have seen my spell placement. These miners are super consistent. I think it's going to be the easiest way to two-shot in the clan capital, especially if you're just trying to get raid medals. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to overthink it. Just put your miners in one spot. Go on with your day. Another easy two. Balloon Lagoon is up next, and a lot of times we go on the left side on Balloon Lagoon. With the miners, I don't mind going on this right side here because look at this. We got a straight line path right up this right side. So we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to use our miners and just go right in here and take it down. All right, so we'll go in here. Rocket artillery is going to go off. Not a big deal. Oh, that bomb, that bomb hurt a little bit. But we're just going to work right on through here and just let these miners get in. It's so nice. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to save this. We're Actually, I'm just going to use it now. We're just going to frost over here. I'm not overly worried about these singles, and we can reset the singles here. Uh, but also, we can just zap in here. Actually, I don't even think we need to zap that building right there. Uh, the singles need so much time to uh, cook up to be effective. I don't think we, we need to worry about it too much. Uh, let's go ahead and let's actually, let's just zap right here. But look at that. We get through that single so quickly here. That's not a big deal. Oh, man, I was hoping they would have went right in, into the other single. That's that's what we were going for. But they should backtrack here. Yeah, they'll backtrack now and get it. Yeah, even that one miner took a little bit of damage there. But look how fast they get through this. That's why you want them clumped and on the same defense. That's why you want to drop them with that single finger deployment. Just put your finger down, mash it in there, and let them go to work. They'll do all the work for you guys. Don't overthink this. And that's what I was doing a lot last weekend was trying to overthink it, get cute. Place, place one miner over here to set the funnel, set the path. You don't need that. You don't need to overthink it. You don't know to, need to be big brain. Use frost, use heal, whatever spells you want. That's not a big deal either, as we saw in that last one. I messed up the heals completely, and we crush. Just get through there and crush these rays with the super miners. Two shot every single district in the clan capital with super miners. Yeah, that's the title of this video, and I mean it sincerely. You see it right here in action. There's no excuse not to at this point, guys. You've seen it so far. You're going to see it. You're going to keep seeing it and you should be using this in the clan capital. If you're in Mad Ram and you're not using this, I might kick you out, I'm just saying. Imagine I kick someone out for not using broken attacks. <laughs> that, that could actually be a funny video. I kicked out Hendo for not using super miners. I would never kick Hendo out, that's my boy. That's, that's the OG, triple OG right there. All right, let's work through here. <laughs> Look at this, we crushed through here. That frost right there was definitely the right play. And we're set up for an easy two, guys. We're set up for an easy two. Another, this is going to be another 80% here. They'll eventually get through that district hall. Let me know if you have any questions down there in the comment section about this. But it should be pretty self-explanatory. This is a spammer's delight. This is it. The definition of a no skill attack. Normally I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, you know, this attack takes a little bit of skill. You still have to place your spells right. You have to, no, this is the definition of a no skill attack. You don't have to think about it. You have to make zero effort and you crush through here. <laughs> it is insane. Look at that. We're going to go ahead and work through there. Last miner is going to go ahead and get taken out. He'll take that cannon out. And we got another easy clean 82 percent on our first attack i think this is a little bit of a weaker raid but trust me guys i'm not exaggerating this will work on your raids too so let's go through here and clean it up nice and easy guys nice and easy and there's nothing left to be said about it you guys are seeing it we got what two more districts left we got wizard valley and barbarian camp but they're gonna be easy cleans they're gonna be easy cleans for us I am swapping back and forth through the accounts because that other account that keeps getting like the 80%, I want to see how high I can get it. I am going to have to clean one up on it so it gets the bonus attack because we're not getting a one shot. But I'm just curious how high we can actually get on that one. So let's keep working through here. Uh, we'll get this right. Oh man, this is nice, man. This is so, so nice. I feel like you could even set up districts to be one shot with the super miners. Like if you just go in and use a couple spells, couple frost spells and then like maybe bring heals for the second attack i feel like you could set up for the one shot maybe take out some of the trash buildings maybe we try that next weekend should we try some one shots with the super miners next weekend on wizard valley i'm gonna bring one heal because i feel like we're fine through here we can frost these guys and then we can just run in our heal as needed here uh i'm just a little bit worried like when we get to the back how much pressure we're gonna be under but i think if we put these guys right in through here like this yeah just like that we should be pretty good to um, run that heal a little bit later. I don't think we really need two frosts on this. There's not really a ton of spots. I mean, there's wizard towers. I think these guys are going to be fine. I think the heal is going to be a little bit more prevalent on this one, personally. 
Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I, I think I'm. I think I'm good though. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and we'll zap over here when they get over here, just to take out those two uh, little buildings right there. I don't really think we need to zap too much more. And we'll see how their health is. We could probably heal right in here on these infernos because they're definitely gonna go to the infernos. I think our pathing on this one might be the best pathing so far. Look at this, like even on the singles, they're not gonna get through, like they're not gonna get damaged too much. But yeah, let's go ahead and heal right here. We'll just try to get them topped up. I'm not even gonna zap those uh, just because it's not gonna matter too much. Uh, we can zap the single right here so that guy doesn't take too much damage. We don't want that guy taking too much damage. Yeah, look at that, they, they get healed up nicely. I think most of them should go to the cannon. Yeah, they're gonna go right up to the cannons. Perfect, guys. This is exactly what we want. This is, a, you already know this is an easy two shot, right? We should have a nice little run at it for being one shot, but this is an easy two. It's so good, guys. I mean, it's so broken and it's so cheesy and it's so easy, but why overcomplicate things if you don't have to? That's all I'm saying. Oh, that split hurts. Oh, if they stayed together, we would be cooking. Why did they split on me, bro? Why did they split on me, bro? All right, they're getting through the cannons. Ah, oh, that split really sucks there. All right, let's 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 see what we can do. Oh, I thought they were going to stay together. I mean, we're still going to two-shot this, no problemo. No problem at all. This will still be a fine two-shot. But, oh, why did they not... Or why did they split on me there? That sucks. I thought we had a chance at it. I thought they were gonna stay packed together and we had a chance at the one shot. I was wrong, I was wrong. They're gonna run out of a little bit of gas here on the back end. All right, yeah, that guy gets taken out there. I mean, we still have a nice little cluster here. It's like, what, five of them? Uh, yeah, like five miners there. That's still pretty good. But I think ultimately, like, that's the one thing is time is an issue with this. Look how much capital gold we have right now. The only thing, like, I'm gonna have to hit another district here. I'm going to have to hit another district just to get the second attack on this, or the sixth attack on this attack, on this account. Easy for me to say. We do get a little split here. Ugh, this is so close, dude. This is so close. That's insane. All right, we got miners working. Oh, did that one get taken out? Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Uh, those guys are going to get taken out right there up the middle. All right, look at this. Oh, my God. It's so close. It's two defenses. It's right there, man. It was almost a one shot. I don't even want to waste the 475. What a crazy attack. 94%. But we need the bonus attack, so we have to use this. Oh, I don't want to, but we have to we have to essentially waste an attack on this account. This account was cooking. I could have taken a risk and maybe try to weaken up Barbarian Camp and then try to finish it off with the second one, but I don't want to take that risk. I want to make sure we're fine. This account is cooking through here though, guys. All right, this barbarian camp is super clustered. So I think we're gonna bring a frost and a heal. I think we can frost and get these three major defenses right here. Nice, perfect. And then I think we can just work up through here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zap right there. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We can use the next zap on that one because I'm going in over here anyways. Now on here, we gotta worry about the giants, but that's why I brought a heal on this one because they are gonna be stuck like on giants. Kind of like with those cannon carts on the last one. Like, if we didn't have the cannon carts on the last one, I think we definitely one-shot it. Uh, but the cannon carts did hold us up a little bit, so that's one thing to also consider. Uh, let's go ahead and let's place our heal in here, just because, like I said, those giants are going to be a nuisance, and we are going to take some of the damage from those big defenses there because of those giants just holding us up there. But now we can get healed up a little bit. We can work through here. Mm. I don't know how this one's going to work. This one's so clustered. I'm a little bit worried about how clustered this is. All right, we're cooking. We're working. Let's keep going here. All right, miners are going. All right, oh, they're getting taken out, though. See, this one, ugh, I, I feel like this isn't a great barbarian camp for the super miners, just because how clustered it is. Maybe that's the counter, is cluster up and not worry about it. Get out of there, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. That's really, really bad. 36,000 clan capital gold on that account, though, for Raid Weekend. That's fun. All right, but let's see if we can get the clean. I don't know that we will be able to, to be honest with you. It's going to be a tough clean, but we're going to try. Uh, let's see if we can get as many of these defenses as possible frosted. Oh, almost got that cannon. Uh, let's go ahead and let's work in through here. Nice. And let's send in all of our miners through here. Okay, nice. All right, so we should be able to work around these clusters now. Should be fine. Um, yeah, because the Giants are kind of spread out now. I think we're okay. If we get a good heal 
up here in the middle somewhere. I think we should be okay. Let's see. Let's see what they do here. We'll just keep an eye on them. Let's keep the heal at ready in case I see anything here. Uh, but this bomb tower might be a spot to heal, like, after this bomb tower, just because I can deal some damage. Let's see. They're going this way, so I'm going to heal right up here. I should have... Oh, I should have healed more up. That was such a bad place. My spell placement is garbage, bro. That's why I'm not a good player. Like, I'm an above-average player, in my opinion. I'm not a good player because my spell placement sucks in Clash of Clans. Uh, and spell placement is, like, the most important thing ever. All right, working through. Let's see if we can get the two. Uh, let's go, guys. We're cooking. We're working. All right, let's, let's let the miners go. They're going, they're going, they're going. We got miners to the right. We got miners to the left. They're all over the place. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Come on, miners! We got plenty of time. Time's not an issue here. Bomb goes off up there. What do we got? Like six of them right here? Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. We're going. We're working. We're cooking. I'm a little bit worried about them having a back trip for this. Uh, I think we're fine, though. I think we got this two shot. I think we cleaned this up. Yeah, I think the first one was just setting pathing. I think this gets cleaned. They'll get a little bit of healing here. We're gravy, baby. We're gravy. They'll come in here. Oh, they're still healthy. Are we good on time? We're good on time, right? Yeah, we're definitely good on time. Ooh, we get the split. We get the split. That might be bad, though. Uh, we'll see. Those guys are healthy over there. We will have the giants just being annoying. No, we got this. We got this. Did we miss anything? No. Yeah, this is good. This is good. What are you guys sweating for? I told you, the super miners are the way to go. Easy two shot. Never a doubt in my mind. Exactly what I told you. Now, the clan capital... That's going to be a whole different story. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be a lot tougher. All right, guys. I'm sticking with the mass miners. I really wanted to take a miner out, bring a couple barbs in here, and just clean things. But we're going to stick with it. I said this was a full mass miner raid, so let's stick with it here. Uh, it's frost there. The second frost will kind of just play by ear here. I don't think a zap gets these out, does it? Yeah, I didn't think so. But let's put in one of these guys here. And again, I know I say keep them together but we're just gonna put one in just to start us and then we'll just kind of let the rest kind of work through here and then we should be able to get over to this rocket artillery pretty quickly that's my goal anyways get this rocket artillery down uh see this is this is the thing uh not only are there a ton of heavy hitting defenses but like the pathing is really hard on this one so you have to in my opinion you have to take a miner out and bring in a super barbarian maybe even a couple battle rams just to spawn up some barbs uh, because these guys are, at this point are probably just going to go around the outside and then we're going to have a dragon chasing us on the next attack that's that's a big thing here and if we can get close to a three shot i would be happy on this but my experience from last weekend i was not really using these guys in the clan capital in in capital peak just because the pathing is just tricky uh especially like on these spread out bases it can be tough there are some bases it could do better but I think the super miners are made really for all the districts. You can literally two shot every single district. You guys saw me just do it. Even that barbarian camp that was really sloppy, we still got through, we still two shot it. So I think that's the main takeaway I'm trying to get at today is use the super miners on all the districts. I mean, even here on the peak, we're gonna be fine. It's not like we're gonna be struggling. I think we can still get a nice little solid three shot on this, but it really just depends on what you're good at using. I don't know, man. Let's see what we can actually get. Can we get a three shot on this? I think we can. Uh, I got faith in us. I got faith in us. Let's go ahead and let these guys work up here. They should get through. I wonder how fast they'll get through the uh, the capital hall there. All right, we get that off. All right, that's good. That's fine. All right, I think we're gonna just go right back in. Let's. We don't even need to break here. Let's just go right back in because we're doing the same thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna frost right here. And I don't know. Should we go up top here? I feel like we should go up top here. And then just let them work around. I just don't really want to leave this up. Yeah, we're going to go in here. So we're going to go right into the capital hall here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that off. I'm going to go ahead and zap here to reset the capital hall. And also reset that rocket. And hopefully they can get out of there in time. Get out of there! Okay, nice. Did they get out in time? I think they did. Now, where did they go? Okay, they went to the rocket. Perfect. All right. Now we're cooking, guys. Now we're cooking! All right, this should set us up pretty nicely for a two shot in my or a three shot in my opinion. Which on Capital Peak, a three shot is fine. If you're three shot in Capital Peak, you're you're gonna be fine. No one in your clan is gonna be sad that you three shot the Capital Peak, or at least in my clan, uh, I'm I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm not even gonna kick you out for that. 
I don't I don't actually kick people out based on playing Gamble attacks. That, that's just a joke. But let's let, let these guys work through here. Uh, I don't think we have a shot at the two. They're just that's the main thing with the capital peak is there's so many big defenses here kind of hard to work through but also you see it here right here they're they're spreading out they're dispersing all throughout the base and they really work most effectively clustered clumped together right on top of each other that's really what you're looking for with this super minor attack we're gonna clear out that top side i think that's gonna be good or we'll get most of this bottle yeah that's it it's an easy it's an easy two shot or three shot excuse me so we we have what is essentially what a lot of people consider a perfect raid two shot all the districts and three shot on the the peak that's what you're looking for in raid weekend if your clan is trying to gain trophies that's how you do it guys two shot all the districts and then three shot the peak you saw we were really close to one shotting a lot of those uh districts i think with a little bit more practice and learning i think we can get close to one shotting some of these districts especially on some of these weaker raids i think we can get there man this, man, this is, they're still going pretty strong. We only got two miners up. They're still going strong here. And on the ground. Oh, they took, they took some, they took some damage. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to hit one more. We're going to have to hit one more. Look, that dragon though, he still can't catch us. He, well, dragon cliffs or capital peak. Dragon, dragons can't see us. We're, we're basically like John Cena out here. That dragon's just fighting himself. He doesn't know where to go. Easy clean, guys. Easy clean. We'll let that get taken out, and we'll go in. We'll finish this bad boy up. You saw some of the scores we were able to put up, and I feel like we could have probably got 40k pretty easily without trying also uh, if I would have just made some better decisions. I think what I should have done is uh, did the second attack. Did the first attack with my other account on the Barbarian Camp. Did the, did the second attack with the account that was scoring really high. I think we can run up some nice scores. We can do some really positive things here in the clan capital with these super miners. Use them while you got them. It's like it's like the graveyards, right? Use it before it gets nerfed. Although graveyard's been nerfed like what three times now, and it's still very very strong. Really solid right here. Let's check out our final score. Of course, right when I was clicking on the screen, it popped up. We got 19 on that, which is a really solid raid. Make sure you guys are using super miners in the clan capital. I said they struggle on capital peak, but we three shot that one, which is fine. The super miners are definitely the new go-to for the clan capital. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. You guys have a great day. Keep on clash bashing.